Many of my students have the same misconception about Hooke's Law and elasticity. So in this video, I want to just clarify the difference between Hooke's Law and elasticity. We can say that a material or a substance obeys Hooke's Law, and that material may also be elastic. But these two properties do not equate each other. If we have a steel spring and we apply a force to stretch it, then we get an extension. If this spring obeys Hooke's law, then the extension is going to be proportional to the force stretching it. And the constant of proportionality, we call that the spring constant. We can plot a graph to show how the extension is going to vary with the stretching force. And the convention is to put force on the y-axis and the extension on the x-axis. To show direct proportionality between force and extension, all we need is a straight line through the origin. So if an object obeys Hooke's law, all of this will apply to that object. But if we say something is elastic, it means that when we release the stretching force, that object will return to its original shape. So the confusion comes here. Very often, if an object obeys Hooke's law, it is also elastic. So that means that if I unstretch a spring, then if I plot the unloading graph, it should look something like this. It returns to its original position, and there is no permanent deformation. But take the example of a rubber band. Again, I'm going to plot a graph of stretching force against the extension. In red, I'm going to sketch the stretching of the rubber band. But when I unload it, or in other words, I'm unstretching it, you can see that in the blue, it follows a lower curve. There are two main things we can deduce from this graph. First of all, the curve tells us that it does not obey Hooke's law. And secondly, after unloading or unstretching the rubber band, it's gone back to the origin. So we can say that it is elastic. So just to summarize, if an object obeys Hooke's law, then this equation applies where extension is proportional to the force stretching it. And we can plot a graph of force against extension and show that it's linear. And if an object is elastic, we say that after releasing the stretching force, it returns to its original shape. I hope this clarifies the difference between Hooke's law and elasticity. And be sure to stay tuned for more physics.